What's up guys, Jason here, Spying Entrepreneur, and in this Google Tag Manager Facebook Conversion Pixel tracking tutorial, we are gonna be walking through the exact process of setting up your Facebook conversion tracking using Google Tag Manager. And if you're new to Google Tag Manager, I encourage you to check out the links and the playlist link in the description to other videos that walk you through how to install Google Analytics, the normal Facebook Pixel, and of course, Google AdWords tags as well. So with that, let's go ahead, dive into my screen, and I'm gonna walk you through this really basic process of getting your Facebook conversion pixel up and running using Google Tag Manager. All right, so before we dive in, I'm gonna assume that you already have Tag Manager installed and working on your site. If you don't or not sure how to do that, go ahead and check out the cards or links in the description to a video that walks you through that process. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over to the Facebook Ads Manager to make our pixel. So I'm here in a new ads account. I'm gonna click on pixels in the menu and come down here to the giant green button, set up new pixel. And even though there's an integration with Tag Manager, you can actually go ahead and click this and Facebook and Tag Manager will talk to each other and set it up. We don't wanna do that because we actually want control over what we're tracking and specifically the types of conversions we're gonna be setting up. So we're actually gonna go ahead and click manual and scroll down a little bit here to copy the entire pixel code. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the code. I'm gonna go over to Google Tag Manager and we're gonna click on add new tag. I'm gonna name the tag and we're just gonna name this FB and what is it? Uh, it's their pixel. And where's it gonna go? All pages. And then we'll come over here to tag configuration and we're actually gonna choose custom HTML. And then we're gonna go ahead and paste it in here. And there are two things we need to do with this code. First, we're going to go over to this text note and I'm gonna pull in this line of code right here. The code will be in the description and this will make a whole lot more sense in a little bit here. And I'm gonna come down right where it says F BQ track page view. I'm gonna to come to the end of that line, hit enter and just insert that line right there. And then at the end of this script, I'm actually gonna take out this last couple of lines right here. So I'm going really slow so you can see exactly what I am selecting. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because you don't need it when you're using Google Tag Manager. And now the code itself is ready to go. So we're gonna come down here to triggering and we're gonna select all pages. Now, when you make conversions in the future, you'll be making some custom triggers. That's a little advanced. We'll get to that towards the end of this video. And so once you have this, you are ready to go and you're gonna go ahead and click save. And so once we've saved the changes, there's one more thing we need to do before we can hit preview and make sure everything's working correctly. Remember that special piece of code I asked you to add to the Facebook pixel? Well, it contains some variables. So we're gonna click over here on variables and we're going to configure. And we're going to select container ID and HTML ID and we're going to just go ahead and click off and there you go, it's working correctly. So we're gonna go back to overview and now we can preview. And essentially that special piece of code is going to allow us to easily add multiple different types of conversion tracking in the future. And so we're gonna go ahead and hit preview now. And once the page loads and you've got this nice little orange notification box, you can go over to your website, hit refresh. Now it's important that you're doing this in Chrome and this little box will pop up at the bottom of your site and you can see here the Facebook pixel, all pages has fired. It's telling us that it's working correctly. Now, in addition to this, there's actually a Chrome plugin that we'll use once we've published. So we see here it fired one times, so that means it's working. So I'm gonna go back to Tag Manager. I'm going to leave preview mode and then I'm going to go ahead and submit the changes and I'm gonna use that plugin that I just talked about to make sure that the tags are firing correctly. Tags, pixels, <laughs> pixel. Facebook calls a pixel, Google calls them tags. So when you submit the changes, you can just go ahead and name your change and say what you did. And once you've made your notes, you can go ahead and hit publish. You'll get a quick summary page that looks something like this, telling you what just happened. And now we're ready to go back to our website and use the Facebook Pixel Helper plugin here to make sure that the pixels are firing correctly. Now, because I'm doing this tutorial, there's more than one on here. Hopefully you only have one. If you see multiple like this, that means you have doubled up or maybe you forgot to take 
take a pixel off in another area on your website when you started using Tag Manager. But for you guys, there's really only going to be one pixel, not three like you're seeing here. Now, if however, you're just interested in remarketing, then everything else you just did is good enough. Because you've set up your Facebook pixel, it's firing on every single website. You can come over here, create a custom audience, select website traffic, and then create audiences based upon certain pages people have seen. And you can get really, really detailed with this. So if you just want to make a bunch of remarketing lists, you wanna remarket people based on if they saw a confirmation page, if they saw a checkout page, if they read certain things on your blog, then this is where you can go. And really this is all you need to get your campaign off the ground. So if you're still working on building the rest of your website, you're still working on putting together your sales funnel, this is as far as you need to go. And you can always come back and do the second half of the tutorial, which is the more advanced conversion style stuff. But really nine out of 10 clients that we set things up for, we just do this because there's so many other more important things to get rolling when you're just starting a new campaign. So now that we have the Google Tag Manager code on our site, the Facebook pixels firing correctly, we know how to create custom audiences, we know that we can do custom conversions inside as well. I'm gonna go ahead in Facebook Ads Manager, I'm still in the pixel section, I'm gonna go back through the process we just did to get the code in the first place. This time, however, I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue and I'm gonna select some events to track. Now, I want to track email opt-ins and maybe purchases in the future, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna do email opt-in. So I went ahead and select generate lead and this is the code that you want to add to Google Tag Manager. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that, copy it to the clipboard. There are a lot of other things and actions you can track. So now that we copied this, we're gonna go back to Google Tag Manager and create a new tag. So we're gonna go here, add new tag, and what this tag is gonna be called, this is going to be, it's Facebook again. And now that I've named it, I'm ready to actually add the tag code. So I'm gonna come in here to custom HTML again drop in that tag code. And now what we wanna do is make sure that it fires after the Facebook pixel. So if you remember, we added this little piece of code to our Facebook pixel that goes across our entire site. Well, this code helps tell Tag Manager that, hey, once you're done firing the pixel, look for some other things that I'm gonna be adding in addition to the pixel code. So we're gonna come down here to advanced settings, and then we're gonna to go to tag sequencing. And we're gonna say fire, we want something to fire before this event tracking, before we do the lead. So we're gonna select tag, and then we're gonna select FB pixel all pages. So what we essentially just did was we said, hey, tag manager, fire the Facebook pixel, then fire this guy, right? So we're firing in the correct order, Otherwise, what we would have to do is we'd have to copy and paste the entire Facebook pixel into this box, and then we'd have to manually add the FB tracking lead, which it can get really, really tedious because that would mean essentially you have to create an entirely new Facebook pixel every time you wanna track an event, and it just gets really, really messy. So this is a nice, clean way to do it. So now that we have that set up, it's going to fire at the correct time, it's time to select a trigger. Now, unlike the Facebook pixel for the entire site, we just want it to fire on a specific page. So I'm gonna come up here to plus, and I'm going to create a new trigger. And for this purposes, I don't have a confirmation page set up for this tutorial, so I'm just gonna send everyone to the blog. So I'm going to count a conversion as someone who visits the blog for this site, and it's gonna be on page view. And just like the options you have in Facebook when it comes to your custom audiences and your custom conversions, you can come down here and select page path or page URL. And then of course you have a bunch of options as well. So you can get really, really specific on which pages you want this tag to fire on. So for example, let's say I have an e-commerce store and I want it to fire every time someone visits a product page. Well, I don't wanna go and add each individual product page and I don't wanna to have to continuously add the new project page URL that are made in the future. So I could just type in product here and then Tag Manager would know any time a URL contains product that it should fire. And then that way I don't have to do it on every single product page. In this particular instance, I'm just doing blog reader. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do blog and go ahead and save the trigger. And once I have the trigger, I can go ahead and hit save. And now we're going to go into preview mode mode again to make sure everything's working properly. So I'm in preview mode. I'm gonna go back to the website, refresh. And you can see on the homepage now, we have tags fired, the Facebook pixel, tags not fired, 
the blog lead. Okay, so that means that it's not firing on this page and that's what we wanted. We don't wanna track a conversion of someone who just showed up to the website. We wanna track a conversion when they actually go and click blog. So now that we've clicked blog, you're gonna see that both tags are firing correctly. And this means you are good to go. So just as a final check, we'll go back to Tag Manager, we'll leave preview mode, we'll go ahead and submit those changes, and we'll use the Facebook plugin to make sure that everything is 110% working properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit those changes. And once I hit publish, I can now go back to my site and make sure that the tags are showing up correctly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit refresh and then use that Facebook plugin to make sure everything's working just fine. And as you can see, they're both firing on the correct page. And so that is all there is to it, to setting up your Facebook pixel conversion tracking using Google Tag Manager. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and actionable. If you got some value out of it, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe because over on my YouTube channel, I'm doing Google Tag Manager tutorials just like this one and documenting the entire digital marketing process. So if you are an entrepreneur or small business owner trying to figure out this whole advertising digital marketing thing, I encourage you to join myself and other aspiring entrepreneurs on this crazy journey we call entrepreneurship by hitting that subscribe button. And of course, if you have any questions about Google Tag manager, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I read and reply to every single one. So until the next video, hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, keep building the business you love. Take care.